What's up, Final Fans? It's the Warrior of Hype. And, uh, yeah, you know, for the, like the 50th time, I've been watching that PAX panel, and I found some things that I missed in my initial analysis of the video, um, and maybe you missed them as well. So let's have some fun with it, because right there at the title screen of Yes, You Can Pet the Torgal, uh, Torgal's on a boat. I don't know if we noticed that, so <laughs> will... Will we set sail in Final Fantasy 16? I mean, it's pretty evident on the actual world map that we've seen. There's boats, you know, sailing around in the ocean, so there's also some snowy mountains in the background. But I do not recall seeing any snowy biomes in the World of Valisthea trailer. I have more to say on where this could be later on in the video. Hey, here we're battling an Adamantois, which is just a cool little thing uh, that, you know, it's a classic Final Fantasy enemy and it's the first time we've seen it in Final Fantasy 16, so I had to point it out. This looks like a cave entrance at the bottom of this crater pool. Or maybe my eyes are just seeing what I want them to. Airship. <clears throat> Airship. That's where it's gonna be. An NPC in Bokled says, quote, no traitor's pass, no passage, and quote, I believe traitor's pass is this area between nations that allows for nations to travel to the crystalline dominion without intruding upon foreign lands, a neutral zone. This seems to have been shut down as the nations are at war and many are fleeing to the dominion's mother crystal. But the Dominion may have closed its door in order to preserve resources. Here is a reference to a southern continent. Currently, we only know of the eastern and western continents of Storm and Ash. We have not seen a southern continent yet. This could be where Sid and Barnabas hail from. Also, we have seen many biomes, but not a frozen tundra, which leads me to think that Torgal on the boat indicates that we will be sailing south. Maybe we actually visit these lands that the natives would worship as the deity itself. The world is a whole lot bigger than we know. <laughs> so gold channels and enhances ether. That's pretty interesting. It's beneficial to bearers or for extracting ether from a crystal. Arete is the Greek goddess of virtue, excellence, goodness, and valor or glory. This makes a whole lot of sense as the Arete stone in Final Fantasy VI provides Clive with a mode literally called the Hall of Virtue as a way to hone in his skill and the player can uh, get good as they say. <laughs> also glory in the arcade mode to set high scores. A double meaning for the Arete stone could reference the definition found in the Merriam-Webster dictionary that reads borrowed from the French. Fishbone, edge formed by the meeting of two planes, a line formed by the two slopes of a mountain ridge. This could have significance to Final Fantasy 16 as it seems Clive enters a virtual or a different realm for this type of training. Could it be the space where two planes of existence meet? Or should I say, a void between realms because of the references to Final Fantasy V of being a major inspiration for Final Fantasy 16. The loading screen shows a level 45 party with only four icons. Interesting to note that Clive does not have the power of Bahamut or Odin or Leviathan at this point. And you probably saw this, but the classic Pixel sprites cheering animation is here. I love it. The objective is to make for Phoenix Gate. This is where the invasion happened. The great tragedy where the Rosfeld line almost ended. Possibly the hideaway is assisting Clive in taking back his home of Rosaria. And in order to do so, they need to retake Phoenix Gate stronghold. This could be what Clive is referring to when he says, 13 years I've waited for this chance. He's waited for the opportunity to retake Rosaria and kill those responsible. 
and maybe they're talking about it right before that mission begins. This was confirmed in an interview with Yoshi P, but now we see it in game. Photo mode confirmed, bottom left hand corner of your screen. I'm excited, I love taking pictures, man. You got 75 hours if you want to complete everything, well you better tack on about a hundred more for me, cause I'm gonna be snapping away. Snap, 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 pause the screen, take some more pictures, baby, cause I can't wait. I'm gonna get the perfect angles, I'm gonna be sharing them all over Twitter, maybe even make a video, I don't care. I'm loving it, man, I love photo modes. There you go. Those are some things that maybe you missed the first time around when you watched it, or the second time, or maybe the 50th time like me. Um, but hey, if I see any more, I'll make another video and let you know if you've seen some that I haven't yet. If you've, you've heard, you've watched this video, and you've watched the video before on it, and I'm still missing something that you've noticed, please. Chime in the comments and let me know I have noticed something very, very big and, and spoilery, like it's a massive spoiler. And um, I had, I actually uploaded it, but I never hit publish because it's just not, I just don't have it in me. I don't have it in me, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I got a moral code or something. If somebody else gets to it first, then good for them and they get all the views and subscribers and stuff like that, so. But hey. I held on to my moral code. Take care now. Bye-bye then.